Long before Janet Jackson's arguably unaccidental wardrobe malfunction on live worldwide TV. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, babe. Rock legend Jim Morrison was convicted of touching himself, exposing himself, at a concert in Coconut Grove. He was also convicted of public profanity. It was 1969, an anti-establishment kind of time. There was an unpopular war going on. Folks looked different. I sure looked different as a rookie radio newsman, but I'm mixing my legends here. At the Dade County Courthouse, the judge sentenced Jim Morrison to six months in jail. He never served the time, though. A notorious drinker, he died at the age of 27 while his case was on appeal. Now, Jim Morrison fans are asking Governor Charlie Crist and the state parole board to grant him a posthumous pardon. I called the fan club. Do you people have a life? Yes, they say. Lives they've dedicated to clearing Morrison's name. He was completely railroaded by the government, and it's just not a good thing to have on your record especially when it's just bogus and trumped up. You know that it would be untrue. Morrison claimed, and his fans believe, he didn't actually expose himself at the Miami concert, only pretended to. Oh, I think it would be appropriate to clear his name. Attorney Don Bierman was on the rock star's defense team 38 years ago. He was a, really a very nice young man who uh, I think got prosecuted for the politics of it. The establishment didn't cotton much to the anti-establishment in 1969. Morrison said as much about his Miami case. What we're testing down there is the uh, issue of artistic freedom of expression. A pardon for Morrison would require the support of the governor. I'm certainly open to it and uh, would... Um be happy to review the case. As best as anyone can remember though, Florida has never pardoned a dead man and the Jim Morrison appeal was previously rejected by Governor Lawton Childs and later Governor Jeb Bush. But even facing a ghost of a chance, hope burns bright for fans of a rock star wrongly accused they believed in Miami. Jim Morrison might have one thing going for him in the effort to erase that night 38 years ago here at the Coconut Grove Auditorium. He attended Florida State University, and so did Governor Charlie Crist. Maybe in this case, one knoll will cut another knoll a break. In Coconut Grove, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.